Thank you for choosing to watch another free e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. Today's exercise continues on from our series of lessons that illustrated how to use formulas in Excel to manipulate text. This time you will learn how to nest several formulas into one cell, saving space and time. So let's get right into it. A couple of weeks ago I produced a series of um, tutorials in Excel, um, in different versions of Excel and in OpenOffice Calc, demonstrating how you can use um, different formulas in Excel to um, handle text and this is in fact what we looked at in those tutorials. Now if you haven't seen those tutorials, if you click on any of the links below, um, they will take you to the various versions of that particular tutorial for the particular versions of Excel or Office Calc, uh, Open Office Calc that I created those tutorials in. But what I want to show you today, so I mean just have a quick overview of these, this is you know we're using the lower function here so if we click on this you can see it's lower so we can turn these um, capitalized um, data from an ex um, exported from a database into lowercase um, and so on and I did it like this so you could see how each formula worked but of course for you know lots of people that's quite impractical so what I'm going to show you today is actually how you can take a whole bunch of formulas together in Excel and you can nest them together so that one one formula, one longer formula in one cell can do all the functions that you're trying to do. So let's have a look at this again. So you can see here what I want to do is I want to take exported da data in these two columns here from um, uh, imported from a, a, a database um, and I want to convert them into lowercase. I then want to create a username by converting to lowercase and then using the left function to actually take the first two characters out of um, the second the family name and then I want to create a um, email address. So let's have a look at how nesting works shall we. So let's have a look over here in sheet 2. So really what we want to have is just we want to create usernames and an email address without that intermediary stage and that's where nesting becomes a really uh, useful function for us to have a look at. So let's click in here so again equals and this time we're going to go straight into the concatenate So what we want to do is, first of all, we want to go lower, and then we want to open, no, lower, yep, open brackets, um, Frank. Then we want to go here, then we want to go lower again, open brackets, then we want to go left, whoops. Yep, that's right. Lower, then left. Open brackets again, and then say Williams, and then two, and then close brackets. Now this is when it gets really exciting with the brackets. So you've got the purple brackets here, and we've got the red brackets. Um, so we need to close that. Make sure that everything's closed. Yep, looks pretty good. Oh dear. I forgot to put the third bracket in, but you saw there that Excel actually uh, reminded me of that. So look at this again. It's this is where you've got to make sure you keep track of all your color coding in Excel. But if it's something simple, a syntax, something simple syntax like that, Excel will actually sort it out for you because it was, you know, just not being a klutz really. So it, if you open this is where the color coding is really powerful. If you start with a black bracket, you've got to close the black bracket, and they've got to sort of go down in. Um, value here. So you can see that we've done concatenate lower A2, then bracket, uh, comma, sorry, for Williams now we're going to look at lower and then left and then B2 and then close everything. And so we get that function done and let's just make all these formulas um, home. Just make it nice and easy for you to read. So again, so again I can use autofill on here scroll all the way down and you can see that we've done that straight away. So let's do that one more time here with the, the concatenate. So if we have a look at closer look here at the concatenate uh, formula that I've done, we can see here for the email address that you know rather than relying on making an username for the um, formula to work as I showed you last week, we can actually do it all in one formula here. So what in fact we're doing is we're building the username from the database entries um, 
using the nesting functions here. So if we look at this, we click on concatenate, where we, equal, we use the concatenate formula, we open the brackets, um, and if we come across here, lower A2 is going to refer to, let's scroll back across here and see, you can see lower A2 will refer to, in blue, to the Frank name here, come back across, um, and then comma, and then we're going to look at the second part of the username, which is the first two letters of the surname or the family name. So we want to convert that into lower text. Then we want to take the left two characters of the cell B2 and take the first two. Look at that. But you can see how it's nested here. We've got the left function nested inside the lower function, which is nested inside the concatenate function. So we've got three functions going on here. And so what that will do is it will take in the red cell here, it will let, reduce that to lowercase, take the first two characters and then satisfy that criteria. And then finally, separated with a comma, we put the text string in, you know, which is going to be the remaining part of the, or the consistent part of, a, of an organization's email address, so at mydomain.com. Make sure it's separated by uh, double quotes and finally close that with a black bracket. And you can see, as I say, as I keep re repeating, really, um, Excel is very good at colour coding the different form, um, the brackets, so you can actually make sure that you're opening and closing the right number. Um, and where people make mistakes usually is in the syntax. You either might forget a uh, double quote, um, or you might forget a closing bracket. Um, but as you saw earlier, if it's a closing bracket, Excel will just put it in for you. But apart from that, it's kind of it just kind of tries to give you hints about what has been forgotten. But as you can see, if you master the formulas and then you start nesting them together, following the rules of Excel, I think you can put up to, um, I think you can nest up to 20 different formulas in one cell. So getting mas mastering the syntax of Excel and mastering the, um, the formulas and nesting them appropriately is a very, very powerful productivity tool. So um, hopefully you can see that um, once you've got confidence with your formulas um, and you start nesting them, you can really make Excel work exceedingly hard for you. Thanks for watching this free tutorial. Your support is important to us and we value your feedback, so please leave a comment below and also don't forget to like us. Finally, if you learned a lot from this tutorial and you want to learn more, why not subscribe to us and you will be automatically informed of our latest tutorials when we publish them. We aim to do this every week. Click on the link above to subscribe. You won't regret it. Thanks a lot for your support.